Good morning, Mass Mom staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Tuesday B-Day announcement. Students, you remember our upcoming events. Take a good look at them right there. All right. Commit them to memory. And students, as you know, safety is, uh, your safety, I should say, is always our number one priority as educators at Mass Bomb. And students, grades 10, 11, and 12, you know that if you need anything from Mass Bomb, there are plenty of staff members that you can reach out to. Please communicate with us. And ninth grade students, I want you to know that this is the type of community that you are now a part of. There's going to be problems that come up uh, during the course of your high school lives. Sometimes there's going to be conflict. And if any of these things can come up, and they do come up, please reach out to a staff member that you trust. Okay, somebody that everybody is a favorite staff member. All right, reach out to somebody and we are going to do our best to support you and help you solve your problems. All right, students, do you know what that is? Yeah, you know what it is. It's yonder. All right, so about yonder, it is the expectation of every student in the building that if you have a cell phone, you are placing said cell phone into your yonder pouch. And let me tell you about how the compliance to that expectation is working this year. Okay. If you are ever seen without your with your phone out of your yonder pouch, your teacher, your administrator, your climate staff member, whoever it is, is going to report that on a Google form that Miss Foster does a great job of organizing and documenting. And if you have even two violations, two or more violations, you are going to have a mandatory parent letter issued to you. It's not going to be a power struggle. It's not going to be a matter of give me that cell phone right now. It's going to be documented. Ms. Foster is going to take care of it and you will be issued the parent letter and you will not be allowed to enter mask bomb unless we have had that meeting with a parent. And students, it's for your own good because let's be honest, we all know cell phones are addictive. We all know that they, you know, they, they take away from our attention span. There's a lot of good things that come from them and there's some not so good things that come from them. When you're in school, you are in school. You are learning. You are listening to your teacher. You are engaging in the instruction. You are not on your cell phone. And I will remind you, you do have Chromebooks if you need tech. Less than nine. And guess what? You'll be fine. This is from Principal Resident Thorne. Ask Miss Thorne for more details. This is very important information. One of the most important things, students, that you can do is strive for the best attendance that you can. And that means less than nine absences, nine or less absences on the year. Less than nine, you'll be fine. And Miss Thorne wants to shout out. Mass Palm school-wide attendance was at 84.72%. Actually, it, it is going to be higher than that because we have a number of students that are still on our roll that don't go to Mass Palm and they'll be dropped from a roll as of Thursday. So it's actually higher than that, believe it or not. So we're off to a really good start with attendance. And Ms. Thorne wants to recognize the following advisories. Okay, these are students that come in and report to advisory on time. Ms. Wagner's advisory had 100% attendance. Mr. Blyweiss's had 75%. Mr. Brown's was 73%. Mr. Merrick and Mr. Waxman's advisory had 71%. And Ms. Friel's advisory was 65%. Great job, everyone. And remember, less than nine. And yes, you will be fine. Students, you know about the Mass Bomb PBIS effort checklist. The points are pouring in, as we know. All right, what can you use the effort checklist PBIS points for? Well, plenty of things. Also cool items like parties, events, activities, class incentives, Panther Cafe meals, which we'll be starting up in the next couple of weeks. And students, remember, this is really important. Because I've actually had some students ask me yesterday when the library is going to be open. Well, the library is now called the Student Success Center, and it will be open for business before school every day at 7 to 7.30 a.m., after school every day 
from 2.34 to 4 p.m. And finally, during each and every lunch period, during each and every day of the week, during each and every day of the school year. All right, Monday through Friday. Monday is Counseling and Step Support Day. Tuesday is Academic Support and PBS Paul Mark Day. That's where you can use your points, cash them in, or you can save them. You can be a saver. Wednesday is College and Career Awareness Day. Thursday is Clubs and Athletics Day and PBS Paul Mark Day. And then Friday is the Open House. So you can engage students. You can go into the Student Success Center and do one of these things. Or you could just go there and it's a quiet space. You want to have a nice, respectful tone conversation with your friends. You can do that as well. It's a space that the student ambassadors and Miss Choella and Miss McPhillamy and Miss Walker have spent a lot of time on in beautifying and you know investing a good effort in a lot of green space in there. So we're just really proud of this space. The fall sports season has already started. Remember, if you have questions about your physical and trip slip, see Coach Calamag, our athletic director in room 308 ASAP. Cheerleading tryouts with Nurse Chris are Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Both days will be from 2.40 to 3.40 in the 300 gym. Students interested must attend both days and must be on time. And yes, you need that PIAA physical completed by your doctor. Stop by room 208, Nurse Chris's office, with any questions. Reminder about chess for Mr. Thomas. All right. Okay, Junior Valdez. All right. Bring it up to that higher level of competition. If you're interested in being on a mass bomb chess team, see Mr. Thomas in room 407 for a parent permission slip so that you can compete against other high schools. All right. I love it. Also a reminder about the mass bomb robotics team with Miss Higgins. Okay. This is a great opportunity as well. Do you want to be on the robotics team? Do you want to crush the likes of Central, Northeast, and especially Lincoln, crush Lincoln. Come show the suburban schools that we are the best. If you're interested in these things, see Miss Higgins in 616 ASAP. There is limited space. Okay, reminders from the dean's office, Mr. Trainer, in the off-limit areas at Mass Bomb. Smile, you're on HD TV. And one thing that I just want to remind everybody of uh, from Mr. Trainer, this is big. Okay, the IDs. Every time students that you come to school without your ID, you know, when you tap in in the morning as opposed to swiping your ID, okay, that goes in your scholarship as a fine that you will eventually need to pay at graduation. So if you need a new ID, and many of you grades 10, 11, and 12 do, because I've been down at the front helping people to tap in, see Mr. Trainer on your lunch period to make sure that you get it. New IDs cost $5. Mr. Trainer will even take a new picture. Glamour shots. If that's what you so desire as part of that $5. Or you can just get a copy made of the one you already have on file. Reminder students about Kuth. Reminder students about Chromebook repairs and our social media. Any staff and students that want to make a contribution to the Mass Bomb Instagram, please email Ms. Linscomb at slinscomb at philsd.org. All right. You know what, staff and students, I would like you to do, give me some shout outs right now. A little bit of five seconds of think time. Five, four, three, two, one. Think of someone that has just been doing a great job to start the year or somebody that's showing real growth. I want to hear about them. The morning announcements wants to hear about them. Mass bomb wants to hear about them, okay? So teachers, you can use the morning announcements form. It's in the one-stop shop. Students, you can email me at dllonfdsd.org. Take out your Chromebook right now and send me a nice message, a nice shout out. Reminder of our quote of the week. It's from Frank Wilzek. If you don't make mistakes, you're not working on hard enough problems. And that's a big mistake. I love that. I love that quote because it is very true. Finally, staff and students. Hey, do you know who we are? We're Mass Bomb. We build the future. Let's have a tremendous Tuesday.